First top headlines, Fortin Village Defence volunteers including three women arrested by combined force from Mayang Langjing, Tamang, Kaming, Sabal, Tansen erupted. Either sitting MP RK Ranjan or MLA RK Imo might get BJP ticket, source. PM Modi condemns Moscow terror attack as death toll rises to 60. ISIS claims responsibility for concert terror attack near Moscow that killed 60. One forty Palestinians killed in raid on Sifa Hospital. And curfew relax in Infalis, Infal West and Taubal districts till 10 p.m. For Gauching district till 8 p.m. in Bishnupur district, curfew has been relaxed till 5 p.m. today. Hello, welcome to Elite TV, your English news bulletin. I'm your host, Dimitra Hanjabha. Now the news in detail. Combined team of Assam Rifles team of combined force has conducted search operations at Kaming Sabal and Mayang Langjing Tamang under Lamsang Police Station this early morning at around 2.30 a.m. The security forces arrested 40 persons, including three women, in the operation. The security also seized some weapons, ammunition and vehicles from their possession. The arrested person were identified as Pari Macha of Sagolband, Pari Achobo of Wangoi, Lembo of Lukir, Athoibo of Haurang, Kairel, Munan of Kangmon, Kangla of Langthabal, Chingsang Lakpo of Langthabal, James of Pumlo, Bobo of Pukau, Liglai of Haurang Kairel. The security forces have collected five carbines. 1 AK-47 rifle, 2 rifle 303, 1 incised rifle, 2 pistol 9mm and 1 double barrel with ammunition. The combined force also seized 1 Vespa 2-wheeler, 1 Activa 2-wheeler, 1 beat car, 2 Gypsy and 1 Safari Storm car. The arrested persons were handed over to the concerned police stations for further investigation. A source says that a combined force, including Manipur police, suddenly launched a search operation at Mayang Langjing Tamang and Kaming Sabal at around 2.30 a.m. today. The local Marabai bees tried to storm the combined force and requested not to conduct operations at the area. But the security force dispersed the Marabai bees by firing tear gas cells and rail bullets. Four Marabai bees injured in the incident, a local Marabai bee of Mayang Langjing Tamang expressed that the 14 persons who have been arrested by the security forces from the area are innocent. They were all village volunteers, not terrorists. Release them without any conditions at the earliest, or stirs should be launched. Here is a report from our video journalist, Savantana Laisho. I know Zik, the Jeribum of Pharmacy, Akogi, Langjing Tamang, coming trouble, Haribum of Pharmacy, Haribum of Pharmacy, and Rang Rang, Akong Rang Muk, Akogi, Noalam Dagipum, Anima Kairom Tabum, Matamda, Akogi, Central Post, somebody is their post, Hariba, Anis in the Tanshil of Tuna, Akogi, Kunang, and Abogi Damuta, Akogi, say the volunteer, Mayamama, Akogi, training to Duna, Lai Riba, volunteer, Mayamama, Nupa Taramatoi. Amadi Nupi Masa Ahum Yauna, Mio Taramari, Makuna Parga Pukre, High River, Mio Sing Asi, Park River Mio Sing Asi, Akogi Kun, Akogi Kuki Lalhobusina, Mayamaki, Mait Hato Pikraba, Amadi, Akogi Mama Mapa Hato Pikraba, Mayamba Hato Pikraba, Adugumlava, Mio Nakani, High River Mio Sing Asina Tolaga, Akoju, Manipurgi, Iram Dam, Iriba, Shikai, Yaro, Hibagi, Damukta, Akogi. Kunani, Hydena, Akogi, 
लोक एंड भोलंटियर ट्रेनिंग खर तौर लेजनी है इमाइल रिलीफ कैम्प लेनी मचाई रिलीफ कैम्प लेजद्रबाई वफम थमीरली अथुब थादोपीरुनी लेकिन खाद चल स्टेट फोर्स सेंट्रल फोर्स खुद लेबे खाद फाग्रे इचल चाइमत लेम पुलिस यादना फाभीग्रे इर हूब गोमें सिलीर थोन तपक्त सूम तौब चिंग कम तौदब यागरी अहब मैं चंगना इकन खाद स्टेट फोर्स सेंट्रल फोर्स चंगल खुद इचिनाबे फाभीग्रे फाबाद मैरा पाई भी ओंजल नुंग का चाक इसी थोजरग लेजब इचल अहम से फाब यादी पुलिस यादन कमायन कम रूल की मखाद फाइनो अगर नक् लागू चिंगजू नक् एरियाद कुकी ममान थक नोई काफल चेंख की है लेरी खुदा सिंह निपाई से खुद गाप चंजल मोन फाचे थूब थादरुद्रगे मनपुर मैं सेसो सू पुल अकन खुद चंजनगनी चेंसल मैं मैरा पाई मैं चेल गाड़ी खा खा अखोने लाख तौबने अदाय मोन अखोद चंग कनु चंग कनो सिबाने थीब अदाय अखोन चिंदी कनो तौद्रगे तौबीगनो अम्त कनो तौबी गाड़ी से खा खाने अखोन चेंजन कानी मोन कापागे कापागे है अखोन मोई कुकी अखोद कमाय का कापो कापो है नुमे फटद कापने अखोद उपाय सूने लेटब है आगा नुपी मचा मयू मई लेजद्रब रिलीफ कैम अगर मा मखुरा कई कायरब निब कई आगे खुद गाप आगा हाथने खुद गाप की लेजबने सूमायी पुलिस यादन नुपा सूमाय फा खोल तौब से पेंदे नुआते अथुब थादोपी है मैं काम नुमे मरू एके फोर्टी सबें मरूनी अमन तीयर ग्यास तीयर ग्यास एके फोर्टी सबें मरूना इमा इबे लोम ओंजल डायरेक्ट कापमनी है पादम से थमीर हिरम से मतदाद पादम जब सेंटी नाइन लाइसम इलीट न्यूज लंगिंग तमाम कमें On the other hand, according to reliable sources, arrested are uh, thirteen members of KCP war group, and another one is host kidnapped by them. The rescue person is in the custody of police. The sources said it. Ahead of the 2024 parliamentary elections, the Bharatiya Janata Party (BJP) has announced its support for Lok Sabha candidate from the Naga People's Front (NPF) in Manipur's outer constituency. Chief Minister N. Biren Singh expressed his satisfaction with the decision, attributing it to the directives of BJP's national president J.P. Nadda. Despite speculations about his potential candidacy, Singh declined to contest in the Lok Sabha polls. Sources close to Elite TV disclosed that while the central government initially considered filing Chief Minister N. Biren Singh, he opted out of the race. Instead, the BJP is contemplating nominating either incumbent MP Rajkumar Ranjan Singh or MLA Rajkumar Imo Singh, the son-in-law of the Chief Minister, for the Inner Manipur constituency. For the outer Manipur constituency, the NPF has announced Kachui Timothy Zimig as its candidate, succeeding the current parliamentarian Dr. Lorho as Profess. Zimig, a retired Indian Revenue Service (IRS) officer, is set to contest under the NPF banner following the announcement of the party's central working committee on March 20. Meanwhile, BJP's national spokesperson Sambit Patra, in a statement on X, reiterated the party's support for NPF candidates not only in Manipur but also for NPP candidates in Meghalaya and NDPP candidates in Nagaland for the upcoming elections.
Kangpope district has the highest special polling stations in Manipur for displaced voters to franchise their voting rights in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections 2024. The Deputy Commissioner of Kangpope district, Mahesh Chaudhary, IAS, who is also the district election officer of the district, said this while briefing the media at his office chamber today on the upcoming Lok Sabha election 2024. The district election officers say the numerous training have been conducted in the last one week after announcement of the election by Election Commission of India. He also said that assessment of security, vulnerable polling stations and critical polling stations is going on in the district. He continued that the first random randomizations of the EVM VVPAT in the district will be held on March 23rd, while the first round of training of the polling personnel will begin at the district headquarters from March 25. The IAS officer said that a unique feature of the upcoming locks of election is the ECI allow voters who are displaced from different villages to vote in some special polling stations. Kangpope district has 24 such special polling stations, which is the highest in the state, he added. He further said that apart from the 24 special polling stations, Kangpopi has 166 normal polling stations as per the latest SSR. It may be noted that the ECI has allowed a four times SSR updation. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has condemned the terror attack in a Moscow concert hall on Saturday, terming it a heinous act and expressing solidarity with the Russian government and people. The ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack that occurred at the concert venue complex near Moscow on Friday, resulting in at least 60 dead and 145 injuries. The attackers used guns and incendiary diary devices, we strongly condemn the heinous terrorist attack in Moscow. Our thoughts and prayers are with the families of the victims. India stands in solidarity with the government and the people of the Russian Federation in this hour of grief, PM Modi posted from his ex handle. As per reports, a group of armed men stormed into the Corcus City Hall concert venue in Moscow, opened fire and detonated explosives among the crowd on Friday. The terror group claimed responsibility for the attack in a short statement published by the IASIS affiliated news agency, Amak, on Telegram on Friday. However, no evidence has was provided to support the claim. Video footage from the site shows the concert venue on fire with thick black smoke in the air. The footage also shows terrified locals hiding behind cushion seats as gunshots echo in the hall. Cetron RIA Nivosti reported that the armed individuals opened fire with automatic weapons and threw a granite or an incendiary bomb which started a fire. Then they allegedly fled in a white Renault car, the news agency reported. The claim by the Islamic State was also confirmed by U.S. officials as reported by the New York Times. The U.S. officials also reportedly informed Russian officials about the intelligence pointing to an impending attack. In the meanwhile, the brutal assault has been claimed by the Islamic State militants. This incident marks the most fatal attack in Russia since the 2004 Belsan school siege. The attackers and Lee's held the bullets on unsuspecting civilians just as the Soviet-era rock band Picnic was about to perform to a packed audience at the Corcus City Hall located west of Moscow. Verified footage reveals concert goers hurriedly rushing towards the exit amidst the sound of continuous gunfire and screams. Further, video evidence shows attackers directing their fire towards groups of people, with some victims lying motionless in pools of blood. Russian investigative authorities have reported a death toll exceeding 60 in a recent incident. Health officials have confirmed that approximately 145 individuals sustained injuries, with around 60 of them being in a critical state. The incident draws perils to the 2004 Belsen school siege where Islamist militant held over 1,000 people hostage, including hundreds of children. Russian President Vladimir Putin is being kept abreast of the situation by security chief including Alexandra Brodnikov, the head of the Federal Security Service FSB, as per the Kremlin statement.
Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Krejewal in the kingpin and a key conspirator in the excise policy link money laundering case, the Enforcement Directorate claim on Friday before a court which sent AAP Chief to seven-day custody of the Prov Agency a day after his dramatic arrest. The Enforcement Directorate ED also claimed before Special Judge Kaveri Bewaja at the Rose Avenue Court that Krejewal took advantage of being the Chief Minister of the Delhi to facilitate money laundering by the Am Atmi Party AAP, which is a major beneficiary of the proceeds of crimes generated in the alleged Delhi liquor scheme. It is for the first time during the ED's two-year prop into the case that the agency was claiming that the AAP was a major beneficiary. During hearing of the agreements of the ED's plea, seeking Krejewal's custody for 10 days, senior advocate Avishet Singhvi, who was representing the chief minister, claiming that no incriminating material showing the AAP leader's involvement in crime was found despite over 200 raids in the excise police custody. The lawyer alleged that the ED misused its power under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, PMLA, to unlist political vendetta. On the other hand, Urban Krejewal, the Chief Minister of Delhi, has declared that he will not step down from his position despite being remanded to six-day custody by the Enforcement Directorate, ED. Speaking to India Today TV, Krejewal affirmed his commitment to governance, even if it means operating from behind bars. I will not resign as Chief Minister of Delhi. If needed, I will run the government from jail, stated Krejewal, shortly after Rao's Revenue Court granted custody to the ED in connection with the liquor policy case. Asserting his resolve, the Adam Admi Party AAP Supremo emphasized whether I am inside jail or outside, the government will run from there. Krejewal's declaration follows his arrest by the ED from his official residence, a move that has steered controversy and raised questions about the legal proceedings against the sitting chief minister. The ED has shot a 10-day custody alleging Krejewal's involvement as a key conspirator in an alleged excise policy scheme alongside other AAP ministers and party leaders. During the court proceeding, senior advocate Avishek Manu Singhvi, representing Krejewal, condemned the arrest, highlighting its unprecedented nature in Indian political history. Singhvi argued against the necessity of arrest, asserting that the power of arrest does not equate to the need for arrest. The ED has accused Krejewal of receiving substantial kickbacks from the South Group in connection with the formulations and implementations of Delhi Excise Policy 2021-22. Despite these allegations and illegal maneuvers, Krejewal remains steadfast in his determinations to continue leading the Delhi government. And now let's go short break. Stay tuned for more updates. Planning to study outside Manipur? Are you confused about your college or university selection after 12? Manipur Edu Online provides assistance to help you. College or university selection, admission guidance, career counseling. Don't delay. For more details, kindly log into our website www.manipuredu.online or you can also call us at 7628960947. Success for your children. Get enrolled to one of the finest schools in Northeast India, UNECO School. Excellence in education. Gear up for the future with Quantum University. Write your success story with our new age programs that shall be amongst the top three most rewarding careers in India and across the globe in the next decade. One of the reasons why Quantum is a leading private university in India is these world-class partnerships which makes it stand out among the rest. Welcome you all to Unapa School Chanum in Fal East, a fully residential school ranked Manipur number one in all India school ranking awards 2023-24 by Education World in Co-Education Boarding School category. 
Academic session for 2024-25 will begin on 1st April 2024. Registrations are open for classes 4 to 9. Hurry up for registration. Pre OPD consultation camp Lakniba March ki tarik tara ni pandegi kuncha mathoi pawbo Caesar Hospitals Langol Amasung Caesar Arban OPD ke sampata pangthuk charagani investigation the 15% procedures medicine immunization the 10% concession su phangbi gani Akupamaro Caesar Hospitals Langol Amasung Caesar Arban OPD ke sampata gi khangbi baya gani Welcome back and you watching the TV English news Several leaders from the Congress Party have made the switch to the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP in Guwahati, Assam. This mass migration marks a notable shift in the state's political landscape as seasoned Congress figures align themselves with the ruling BJP. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Bishwa Sarma took to the microblogging platform X to her land the influx of Congress start walls into the BJP ranks. Just days after his predictions that a significant portion of the Congress party in Assam would align with the BJP, his prophecy appears to have come to fruition. A few days ago, I have said that almost the entire Congress party in Assam will join the respected Narendra Modi ji. Today, many senior Congress leaders have left the part of nepotism and corruptions and joined BJP for Assam. Heartly, congratulations and congratulations to all of them, Chief Minister Sarma announced in tweet. The moves comes amidst a larger political realignment in the state as several prominent figures from urban graduals Amadmi Party AAP have also defected to the BJP. The Chief Minister confirmed these developments earlier in the day through his microblogging platform X account. Ahead of the Lok Sabha elections, the opposition CPIM has faced a major setback as over 600 voters joined the BJP on Friday in Agartala. Speaking on the issue, BJP said General Secretary Amit Rakshit said that the voters who have joined the BJP are primarily leverers in various fields and have decided to do so, what, so after witnessing the efforts of the present government and party towards the welfare of the people. Most of the voters who have joined the BJP were formerly affiliated with the CPIM. 600 voters have joined from 120 families. These individuals are predominantly laborers from diverse backgrounds across the state. They have experienced the rule of CPIM and have now witnessed the governance of the BJP. He stated, they opted to join the BJP as they have benefited from his government and have not felt the need to participate in rallies or protests, etc. A party does not judge anyone based on their political affiliation. We strive for overall development and the welfare of the people, Rakshit further added. Dead fish have been discovered floating in the waters, raising concerns about plastic pollutions in Pachala area from the second time. Despite calls from Prime Minister Narendra Modi for India to become free from single-use plastic, locals unabated disposal of plastic waste at the Brishanala Jan in Patsala has led to the demise of numerous fish in the water body. The Bisharnala Jant, a small relevant flowing through Pachala town, situated merely 150 meters away from the Pachala municipality board, has become a scene of environmental degradation due to consistent dumping of garbage and waste materials by the section of the populace. The area, once revered for hosting statues of Ashut Lakar, the father of Mobile Theatre, and Ratan Lakar, founder of Kohinu Theatre, has now transformed into a dumping ground for non biodegradable waste. Residents have expressed concerns over the foul smell emanating from the area as most of the waste materials thrown into the rivulent area are non biodegradable. Additionally, animals, including cattle, rely on these water sores for hydration, raising fears of potential diseases spreading from the rotting fish. Nature enthusiasts are angered by the incident and demand punitive actions against those responsible for poisoning the water body. Despite these alarming developments, the Pachala Municipality Board has felt to effectively address the issue, exhibiting concerns among locals. 
Jadav Chandra Roy, a senior citizen from Pachala, highlighted the challenges of identifying individuals responsible for plastic disposal, noting that the clandestine nature of such action makes it difficult to apprehend culprits. He emphasized the urgent need for measures such as CCTV surveillance to curb plastic population and protect aquatic life in the region. In the face of mounting environmental threats and a public outcry, concrete efforts are required from both authorities and the community to combat plastic pollution and safeguard the well-being of ecosystems of Pachala. The Assam Rifles recovered 2,393 grams of heroin number no. 4 and goods of or foreign origin including liqueur, cigarettes and areca nuts valued at Rs. 16.87 crores. These operations resulted in the apprehension of two individuals. The recovery and arrest took place in two separate operations in the general area of the Indo-Myanmar Friendship Bridge and New Harikwan Jokhatar in the Champai district of Mijram on March 18. Earlier on March 19, in a co collaborative operation executed on March 18, Mizoram Police and Assam Rifles seized 198 shop cases filled with 2.393 kilograms of heroin, estimated to be worth Rs. 71,79,000. The contraband was seized from two individuals, B. Liang Sanga, 45 years, and 5. Mal Swan Tara, 35 years. In a separate operation, the authorities also seized 110 gelatin sticks weighing 14.084 kilograms and 110 detonators from a couple identified as Bai Krema, 29 years, and Ram Thazwali, 28 years, as confirmed by Mizoram police. In a sudden turn of weather events, Sikkim has been blanketed by heavy snowfall, particularly impacting the northern and eastern regions. The disruptions originating from the western Himalayan region has posed significant challenges to socio-economic activities and travel routes, especially along the strategically vital roads of the Lachung and Lachand exits, as well as national highways leading to Natula and Tamse. Adding to the Wu's recent devastating flash floods attributed to Glacial Lake Outburst Floods GLOF, have severely damaged communication routes, notably doors leading to North Sikkim, particularly the Lachan Valley. However, amidst these challenges, the Border Roads Organization BRO has emerged a beacon of hope. Employing a dual-pronged strategy, BRO swiftly responded to reinstate connectivity from the, for the armed forces stations along the Lachan Valley. Utilizing the Donkela Pass at an altitude of 18,200 feet, the organization ensured logistical and administrative connectivity even in the face of adverse weather conditions. The dedicated efforts of the 758 BRTF under Project Swastik of BRO has been commendable. Despite freezing temperatures, limited oxygen, intense winds and blizzards, the gallant workers preserve to maintain crucial communication channels. Their commitment to duty ensured uninterrupted movement of personnel and resources in North and East Sikkim. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has requested India's assistance in importing electricity from Bhutan to Indian territory. This request was made during a meeting in Prani Verma, the Indian High Commissioner to Bangladesh at the Prime Minister's official residence. The agreement for electricity imported is expected to be finalized during the upcoming visit of Bhutanese King Jingme Kesar Namgyal to Dhaka on March 25. In addition, Sikh Hasina requested the removal of India's anti-dumping measures for importing jute and jute goods from Bangladesh and suggested that India could modernize the Shedpur Railway Workshop. The Prime Minister also discussed the continuous democratic system in Bangladesh and its role in the country's development. Prani Verma outlined several projects in Bangladesh funded by the Indian Line of Credit and highlighted initiatives such as Rupi Taka Bilateral Trade Transaction and the Bangabandhu Biopic. He also mentioned ongoing negotiations for a comprehensive economic partnership and the potential for Bangladesh to establish a defence factory with an Indian joint venture. The High Commissioner extended an in invitation from the Indian Prime Minister for Sheikh Hasina to visit India following the Indian national election.
A poor improvement in the law and order situation in the valley districts. Curfew has been relaxed till 10 p.m. today in Imphalis, Imphal West and Tobal districts. In Kokching district, curfew has been relaxed till 8 p.m. today. However, in Bishnupur district, curfew has been relaxed till 5 p.m. today. Traffic is seen as usual on the roads. Shops and markets remain opened. People were seen purchasing essential items during the curfew relaxation. For LTV News Channel, contact to the email address info at litv.in or 9402890982 and subscribe to LTV YouTube channel or follow on Facebook page, Instagram and X for more information about the channel. And now let's take a look at the headlines once again. Fortin village defense volunteers, including three women, arrested by combined force from Mayang Langjing Tamang, Kaming Sabal. Tension erupted. Ida sitting MPRK Ranjant or MLARK Imo might get BJP ticket. Source. PM Modi condemns Moscow terror attack as death toll rises to 60. ISIS claims responsibility for concert terror attack near Moscow that killed 60. One forty Palestinians killed in raid on Sifa Hospital. And curfew relaxed in Imphalis, Imphal West and Taubal districts till 10 p.m. For culture in district till 8 p.m. in Bishopur district, curfew has been relaxed till 5 p.m. today. That's all for now. For more updates, keep watching LTV's 3 p.m. English news. Thank you and have a great day.